This is AEDT 1160U Digital Communication Technologies. This week we are discussing online presence and online identity management. The title of this video clip is Building Trust or Who Are You in Bits and Pieces. When Jen started talking her father Harry into promoting his business online, he was very skeptical about the whole idea of interacting with customers through the internet. He needed to meet the individuals in person. After all, this is what he did all his life. Talk to them, observe how they reacted and interacted in order to do business with them. How could he make sure that the person who pretended to be Frank Smith from Alberta, for example, and who was interested in buying several items from his shop was real? Maybe he was a group of teenagers who were bored and wanted to do a prank on a random catch on the internet. The analysis questions for this video clip are Define online identity. How was it created? Do we all have online identities and what are the risks related to our online identity? When Harry searched for Frank Smith in Google, he found Frank Smith, the psycholinguist, who was famous for his contributions in linguistics and cognitive psychology. He also found Frank Smith, who was a car dealer, Frank Smith, the musician, and Frank Smith, the professor at a very well-known university whose research was about technology and international security. Harry also found Frank Smith beverages, Frank Smith, the famous baseball pitcher, and many more. First, how can Harry be sure that individuals who would be contacting him were real? Second, Harry wondered, how could he create his unique online identity and avoid being confused with any other Harry Campbell? In fact, Harry googled his name and he found that he shared his name with an artist, with a professor, with a Scotch footballer, and more. On LinkedIn, there were more than 800 different profiles with or related to his name. Third, Harry wondered, how can he make sure that only correct information about him was shared online? How could he create a real online identity and manage his online reputation and the reputation of his business? As a first step, Jenny and Jack were able to convince Harry that if he really wanted to control what was said about him online, he had no other choice but to have an online presence. Jen explained, If I was in the kitchen with Jack talking about you and accusing you of eating all my birthday cake, would you know about our conversation if you were not in the same room? Would you be able to defend yourself? If mom came in, and you convinced her that you were guilty, and then she started hiding dessert from you. Would you ever know why she was behaving like this? At least, in this case, you could suspect that something was wrong and question her about it. Now, let's say that you went out with some friends to the lake for a swim, and one of your friends was taking pictures, then, without informing you, was posting them on his wall and tagging all the persons appearing in these pictures including you. One of these pictures was not really appropriate, but your friend found it funny and didn't think that you would mind sharing it. A week later, your employee, who happened to be connected with your friend's cousin on Facebook, saw the inappropriate picture and unintentionally joked about it with the other employees. When you finally paid attention to what your employees were laughing about, every time you passed by, it was already too late. In other words, if you were with us in the kitchen, you would have prevented us accusing you of eating the cake. If you were on Facebook, you would have prevented your friends to post an appropriate picture of you. To control your reputation, you need to be present. Jack understood Harry's worries and skepticism about who would be at the other end of his online interactions. To answer Harry's question, Jack explained that whenever he was contacted through email or through any social networking site, he usually asked the person or the company to give him a link to their profile page or company page. He also asked to have the person contact number and address and even video conferenced with the person via Skype or Google Hangout when it was possible. 
Harry needed to make sure that when his friends or clients search for him online, they would be directed to his page and he wanted also to monitor what was said about him on the internet. Jack walked Harry through creating his Facebook page and adding friends to his list. He also showed him how he could access others' pages and how to get notified whenever they posted a new status or shared new information. He then showed him other web services such as About.me and Visify that allowed users to create personal pages or even websites powered by users' own data. Jack explained that there were strategies to follow in order to attract internet users to your page, such as intentionally using keywords or hooks that would be relevant to the product and services he would be offering and that would attract his clientele, or linking his online accounts to maximize his popularity. What else could Harry do in order to build his online identity? And how will he be able to manage his online reputation? The synthesis questions for this video clip are How can we be certain of the identity of the person we are interacting with online? What strategy or strategies should we follow to foster an advantageous online identity? And to which extent would we be able to control our online reputation?